Morning everybody, my name is Lonnie and welcome to LTV Plays Don't Starve. I don't think I'm gonna be gonna be doing the Rain of Giants thing because it's hard as all fuck. Um well basically yeah, that, that was about it. It was really, really hard. This, this is bad. We don't do that. I can't do it. So we're just gonna be starting a new game, random, all that shit. So this is by Clay, the same people that did Oxygen Not Included. If you've seen my Oxygen Not Included videos, I did happen to mention that Clay did this game as well. Or at least I think I did. Did I? If I didn't, if I didn't, then I'm sorry. I should have done. It's very unprofessional if I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty certain I did. That is pixely as all fuck. But anyway, this game's awesome. It's like Minecraft, but badass. But absolutely fuck all like Minecraft. If that made any sense. Basically, it's a survival thing. You gotta gather resources and you gotta survive. It's harsh as all hell. I will die. Frequently. Because I'm terrible at this game. I am absolutely god-awful at this game. But it's really fun. It's a whole lot of fun. And I love the art style. It's like a Tim Burton-esque art style. Which, I imagine... What the hell's going on with the textures? Why do the textures look horrible? That's better. That's better. Okay. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I, I was really panicky then because I thought I'd just, like, insulted the game for absolutely no reason. But I was almost certain that I didn't remember the textures being like that. And they wasn't they weren't like that before. It was the small textures thing that I'd put on. Because for some reason I assumed that small textures meant that the textures would be smaller, hence look nicer. Because you could fit like more texture in a, like in more of the texture in the same amount of area. I don't know, you you, you know what I'm trying to say. But now the game looks all nice and how it used to look. And the art style is still all awesome and shit. But yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh my god, have I just said that and then what I've said is completely wrong? But it just turns out I had to restart the game. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm just trying to cover my tracks. So yeah, this game's awesome, even though it's har harsh as all hell. And I will die frequently, con consistently, all the time, because I suck. Okay, so like most survival games, you start off by just gathering random shit that's on the ground. Mainly food. Food's important in this game. Uh, food's very important in this game. Hence the name, Don't Starve. And then when you get some tools, you can start gathering other little bits like wood and rocks and... I don't know, all sorts of stuff. And then you start building yourself a little basey type deal. I'm going to take these acorns because they can provide some sort of fuel. I know you meant to replant them so the trees grow back and all that rubbish, and you're also not meant to chop down trees that are this small, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because, well, it's there. I could have waited for it to completely grow back, but I'm not going to build my base here anyway, I'm going to be moving on. So it's not like, it's not like chopping these trees down is like limiting myself too much, I guess. I don't want to stick around too much, like in the same spot straight away. I want to explore quite a lot and try and find a decent place to settle down. Because I feel that that's an issue that I have on this game a lot, is... I just set up base instantly. And then I end up being in a really shit area and I have to run miles to find somewhere that I want to be and... It's just... it's not good. It's getting late. Oh, balls. balls a rooney This is the bit where this game gets bad. Night time. Night time is a bitch. I know the game's called Don't Starve, but but night time's the thing that you're scared of. Not starving. Because, I mean, there's, there's enough food about, I guess? Okay, there's not. There isn't enough food at all. Starving usually is the thing that kills me. But night time is something that when it starts getting late, you, that's when you need to be thinking, shit, I need to make my way back home. Because that's when all the bad shit happens. That's when your dude starts turning insane, because we have a sanity meter that's rapidly dropping. And we can increase our sanity by doing lovely things like picking flowers and... See how it went green a little bit and it's gone back up to 200? So picking flowers and then there's bits of equipment that you can wear and stuff that will increase your sanity slowly over time. But... The game usually does end up getting the best of you, or at least it does to me. It's probably a hell of a different story for everybody else, but for me, it, it generally just gets the best of me, because I'm not very good. Oh, there's a... Oh, torch! 
Perfect. I was just about to make one of these. 28%. That kind of sucks. Okay, so my first night, I will just be using a torch. I won't be building a campfire, and I won't be cooking food, and... The usual sort of stuff that people do on survival games, I won't be doing. Because I need to run around and... And look at things. And explore the lovely darkness, even though we don't like the dark. But it seems to be the more sensible option at the beginning of the game, at least. I just gather up a bunch of food and then just leave. Like, instantly. Because we need to find somewhere where there's resources aplenty. I need different sorts of resources at every angle and just sort of plonk myself down right in the middle. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Torch. And we want to build another torch while we're at it. Because this torch is going to run out very soon. Okay, generally my playthroughs on this game last until winter. What do you mean you, I can't do that? You can't do what? And this is what we see frequently in winter. This sort of freeze overlay. You just sort of see that everywhere. All the time in winter. And then you die. So that's why I only last until winter. Because I just can't do it. Okay, running around at night time might have seemed like a bad idea now. But I promise you it is a good idea. Kind of. It's sort of a good idea. Sometimes. I think. Where the hell am I going? Nowhere, apparently. I'm just heading back to where I was before. Is there going to be another path that leads up and out somewhere? Or is this literally just going to take me back around? This is literally just going to take me back around. So I may have wasted this night just running around the same biome. Balls. Okay, but it's fine, because we're exploring our perimeters a little bit. See, so now we're in a different biome. So, okay, that's like a, the biome. I've already beaten that one, though. Shit. Okay, I'm just... Uh-oh. 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 Okay. That, that was close. That was very close. I was... Officially quite scared then. I thought I was going to take a lot of damage. And health is something that's really hard to recover in this game as well. Wow, those berries do actually recover a lot of hunger. I don't remember them recovering that much. Okay, so first of all, we want to build one of these dealers because that keeps your sanity looking good. So now my sanity is going back up very slowly as opposed to going down very slowly. Oh, there's a pig house. And a pig. These things are good to live by. Because if you give them food, then they will fight for you. But they're also bad to live by as well, because... It's like a double-edged sword. Everything on this game that's good has negatives to it. Because the game's unforgiving. It's the evil bitch goddess of a game. Okay, these places are good to live in. Because there's food. Food aplenty. Loads of rabbits. Everybody likes rabbits. I don't just mean because they're tasty. I mean because, I mean, I love a little, little rabbit. Okay, so living around here might be some... Oh, I left my tor torch burning? What a penis. Yeah, living around here might be something that I consider doing. If I can find other things nearby. Okay, I need a pickaxe. We're going to take that gold while I'm here. Oh, then again, is this, is this a stone biome? If this is a stone biome, then... Then I'm not all that fussed about gathering the gold just yet. Oh, dear lovely. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Okay, I like it. I think we're going to go and live with the rabbits. Hopefully there's going to be some beefalo nearby as well. Beefalo are like buffalo, hence the name. You probably couldn't have figured that out unless I just told you. Right? You didn't figure that out, did you? 
Nope, you didn't. You only knew that because of me. But yeah, beef flow are useful because you get poo. And poo can be used as fertilizer. Fertilizer is good. But more importantly than that, beef flow can be used as protection. They're like free protection from wolves and shit. Hmm, there'd be no beefalo about. See, now that place would have been really good, but I really would like some beefalo. Because the wolves are bad. Wolves are really bad. Yeah, I don't like wolves. I don't like bees either. Don't attack them. Well, we don't like frogs. Frogs are arseholes. Okay, there's a lot of frogs around here. I mean, this is good for fishing, but... But the frogs are arseholes. I mean, you can get food from them. Everybody likes food. I mean, I love food. But frogs are assholes, and they hurt you, and they steal all your stuff. They like that game. Oh my god, what was that game called? It was like a little little child's game. I used to have it as a child. And you got a little lizard, and it got a stretchy tongue, and you used to, like, twat it at loads of flies. And whoever caught the most flies won. What was the game called? Anybody know? I can't remember, but it was awesome. And I didn't actually use the lizards for the game, I just wanted the lizards and I just used to twat things with it and get its tongue to stick to stuff. Just like the windows and anything else I could find, like my mum. Ah, oh, childhood was awesome. Okay, that's a swamp. We don't, we don't like the swamp. Swamps are very bad. And this is all swamp. Okay. Ah, oh, spiders. Swamps are bad, but they can be good at the same time. But for the... For the minute, we want to be keeping them away from the swamp because of tentacles and shit. Also, it's getting dark again. We don't like... We don't like this. Am I seriously not going to find any beefalo anywhere? I can't see jack shit. Hopefully, the gamma should be turned up a little bit for you guys watching, so you'll be able to see a bit more than I can. But I honestly can't see jack shit. I can see these trees that were going past. The fuck? Jesus, spider, you scared the shit out of me. I've never played this game with headphones on. My fucking Christ. My poor heart. Did you hear that noise? The game's always seemed so quiet up until now. They actually scared the crap out of me. I was fully... Fully puckered for a second there. They're like a ring piece of steel, it was that clenched. My god, that was bad. Okay, I managed to gather enough stuff for a campfire, like a proper campfire. Yeah, fire pit, that's the one. So I think we're just going to make the best of a bad situation, I guess, and build our camp around here. Well, that means I've got to get all the way back there, which is not, which is not good. I don't want to get all the way back there. Not in the dark, anyway. Am I running on a path? You run quicker if you run on a path. If you've not played this game before, you do run quicker if you run on a path. This looks like a path, and I'm back in the swamp. Fuck you, game. Okay, screw it. We don't, we don't follow the path. The path's bad. Paths are bad. Also, we need to find the brick path as well, so I can find Chester. Chester's really handy to have. See, I know a lot about this game. You can tell I've played it a lot. I have played a hell of a lot. Just can't fucking do it. Cannot do it at all. There's, like, underground areas and shit. Never been there. Never lived long enough to get there. I get to the first winter, and then... That's it. That's my run complete. I just die. I cannot survive in winter. I would love... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I would love somebody to give me some sort of advice on how to survive in winter. Well, like, whilst I'm doing this series, advice would be very, very much appreciated. But I just can't do it. It's like I've had farms built and all sorts of shit. I had drain racks all over the place with beef jerky and all sorts of stuff. Probably not beef jerky because... I don't think you get beef, but but there was jerky, and I I just got loads of food. There there was plenty of food, and then all of a sudden the food was gone. It ran out, and then all of my wood that I was using to keep me warm, all the trees and shit nearby, all the plants and stuff nearby, because it was winter, none of that grows back. 
And then it's just like, shit. Now I have to go out somewhere to gather things to keep me warm. And then the little journey outwards to gather firewood probably isn't the best idea because you freeze to death. That's about the size of things anyway. That's, that's pretty much my experience with this game so far. Basically, I suck. And I need help. Like, lots of help. Okay, where the hell... Oh, fuck. Oh, nipples. Balls. Thank you. Okay, only equip the torch this time. Okay, I need to be able to see so I know where to set up camp. Hello? Hello? Daytime. Daytime would be lovely. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, I think, like, literally... Oh, no, not where I was stood. Um... I think maybe about here would be good. There's a lot of rabbit holes about. Which I'm definitely going to make use of. I'm going to build loads of them. I know these are more nutritious and stuff if you cook them, I think. I think they are, anyway. Oh, actually, I'm not all that sure. I'm going to eat these petals because petals are delicious, apparently. I've never actually eaten a petal, but apparently they are delicious. Okay, science machine. Oh no, science machine! And then with science machine we can make more tools, like a shovel. I don't know if I need a shovel yet, but we'll take one. We'll take a pitchfork. Take a razor. The razor's actually really handy. But we'll take all those things. And I can just plunk them on the floor nearby, I think. I don't think there's anything that steals any of your shit on this game. And then we can refine. I don't know if we're going to need wood or boards or cut stones or anything just yet. What's that noise? Is that noise my science machine? That noise is a science machine, Jesus! I've never heard that before! You guys at home probably can't hear that, but I have actually never heard that before. Okay, so I'm gonna mark my perimeter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna mark my perimeter by digging it all up. Two, three, we'll do Four by four, maybe? So I'll do another three this way. Live in a nice little diamond. Not Neil Diamond. It wouldn't be nice to live inside Neil Diamond. No. I mean, not that Neil Diamond's a bad guy. Just imagine living inside anybody, whether he be a celebrity on or otherwise, would probably smell quite bad. I am talking so much shit right now. I really, really am. Okay, so we're going to drop that. We need the axe. We'll equip that. We'll drop that. Drop that for now. Drop the razor. Don't shave. Drop it. Drop the shovel. The shovel's really handy for like things like this and and berry bushes and stuff. You can sort of gather all that and then move it nearby. But then we're going to need shitloads of fertilizer and loads of stuff that I don't currently have. Okay, I keep my torch. Torch is handy. Um, what am I looking for now? Wood. Wood. We need wood. Get all the wood. Because I need to build up some chests. Chests are important at the beginning. And then we're going to need some walls at some point. I actually don't know if walls are all that important. I know they're important for making like little killing rooms like foot corridor type deals for when wolves come for you but I've never got around to doing things like that I've never really survived long enough to even think about building anything like that all I know is for now we need wood <laughs> giggity 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 goo wood
Chopping wood, chopping wood. Oh, you can also use a shovel to dig up tree stumps. And that gives you another log. And gets rid of the tree stump. But I think the tree stumps do grow back as trees. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think they do. They probably don't. Now I'm thinking about it, I don't think they do. But they could do. Nobody knows. I don't know. I'm not a tree biologist. What do you mean? Of course trees are biology. Stupid people. Okay, plant all these. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but... It's like, I'm nearby my base now, and... I'm going to want loads of trees growing... Somewhere nearby. Just... Don't be a forest fire. Oh my god, that is something that happened on one of my playthroughs. Like, a long, long time ago. I just set up the most badass berry farm ever. There were so many berry bushes in such a perfect line. There were like three lines, really long berry bushes. Then three lines of grass. Then three lines of the twig-like things. Whatever the fuck they're called, I can't remember. I'd got them all fertilised and they'd all just finally started growing. Lightning struck and hit one bush. And the fire spread to the entire lot and wiped out everything. My hopes and dreams were just crushed in an instant. It was horrible. I've never been so so gutted. So naturally I stopped playing the game up until now. That, that was the last time I played it. And now here we are. Okay, we need a hell of a lot more wood than I gathered. Shit. Um, structures... Hay wall, sign, chest. So we got one chest. One sheet. One sheet does the job of... I'm sorry. Sorry. It's, it's a... Just an advertisement that got stuck in your head. You cannot get it out of your head once you've heard it. Mr. One Sheet. I know, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sort of... Take the mick out of his accent. But it sounds like he's saying shit. Well, I think that's kind of the joke. I think it's meant to sound like that. If you don't know what advertisement I'm on about, I can't remember the brand, but it's some sort of toilet paper. I'm pretty sure if you just type in one shit... Oh, no! Oh, I've already got a torch. Shit. I don't have any rocks. I have rocks. I don't have any logs. I do have logs. I don't have enough rocks. Why do I not? Oh yeah, because I built loads of tools. You're a tool. That's not very nice. Who dare you call me a tool? Okay. I found rocks, but this is going to be an issue. What do you mean it wouldn't fit in your pocket? You've got like half of the savannah in your pocket. Loads of rocks, loads of logs, an axe. All these things in your pocket. I'm sure you can fit one boulder in there. Okay, I need to find rocks just sort of on the ground. Like, sharpish, please. The hell is that? Oh! Oh no! Oh, I forgot about tall birds. Oh shit, why is a tall bird not on fire? Okay, I'm very sorry. I am super sorry, tall bird. Oh shit, I didn't think those were nearby. I was so close to it as well. Is it still chasing me? I'm not going to be able to go back down here now, am I? Oh, balls! Those things are so violent! Wait, I came down here and I didn't even bring a pickaxe? What a peni! What a grade A moron! What a super ultra mega penisaurus! That's right, you heard it. Heard it here first. Okay, now we find rocks just lying around. Okay, where the fuck's the tall bird? There. Okay, I'm sorry I hit you with a torch. But, I mean, you probably should have set on fire anyway. Ooh, gold. Oh, graveyard. You can find cool shit in the graveyard sometimes. I don't know how fond I am of the idea of living next to a graveyard. They're like ghosts and shit. I don't like ghosts. 
Oh, <gasps> stone path. Oh, progress is being made. Oh, and a wormhole. I actually didn't know what the hell these were at first. I I was really scared of it. I was like, oh my god, what the hell is that? And then when I hovered my mouse over it to see what it was and saw that it said jump in, I was like, what? Hell no. Fuck that. I ain't jumping in that thing. He's got teeth. Are you mental? I'm going to jump in something that's got teeth. But it turns out it's just a teleporter thing. Oh, it's a tree. I don't understand what the point in those trees are. Does it just get you the living wood? I think it just gets you living wood. I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it does. Oh, so many boards. It's like you knew you knew that I needed boards. And a new axe. My axe is about to break. How dare you tell me to stay away, piggy. If I really need to, I can run down to that piggy. Um, in a dire situation. Like if I'm being attacked by anything. Oh, there's loads of pigs down here. Okay, this is good. See, the pigs are really handy because they can do labour for you. But I don't have anything to feed them. You have to feed them to get them to do shit for you. Like, I could get two pigs to clear out this entire forest in a matter of minutes. They really can. It's that crazy. Right, where the hell's Chester then? Chester should be along this path somewhere. Hey, fat boy. Okay, so Chester has to be in the other direction. I can't remember what the fat pig does. I'm sure he does something if you feed him, but I can't remember what. Oh, I haven't been feeding my dude. Eat all the carrots you can eat. Just just eats them all. Eats them all up. Mmm. Mmm, carrots. This game is so eerie with headphones on. What the hell kind of noise was that meant to be? I ain't going near any spiders. The spiders scare the shit out of me. The noise it did was so sudden. It was so uncalled for. It just like screamed in my ear for absolutely no reason. Come on, Chester. Where are you? Don't be in the swamp, Chester. Don't be in the swamp. Because if you're in the swamp and I find you and then you die, I'm going to be so pissed. I'll actually be so annoyed. Okay, the swamp wasn't very big, so we're all good. Okay, Chester, where the fuck are you? Oh my god, this is a good place for food. Why didn't I move down here? I should have lived here. Look at all this food. This is like a perfect base set up for me already. He's got food, they got flowers. they got all sorts of shit. Why is Chester not here? It's like... It's like written in the game that Chester should be along the stone path. It's like in the game code. He should be here. Somewhere. And he's just not. Well, screw you too, Chester. I haven't walked past him, have I? Have I walked past Chester? I don't think I have. Okay. It's come to my attention that I'm making absolutely fuck all progress on this. Because all I'm doing is run around. Okay, there's spiders. Okay, okay. Which way was back home? Okay, right and then up. Oh no! Oh. Fuck are you, spider! Fuck are you! I only came out be because I wanted stone. What's this? A miner hat! Oh my god, I've never had one of them! That's awesome! Another stone path? Is, is this the same stone path? It's not the same stone path. Oh. Well, fuck you too, game. Fuck you very much. It's like, oh, another stone path. Nope, no. This stone path leads nowhere. Tra la 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 lol. Okay. Back to base. Where is base? Nobody fucking knows. 
This way. This way is base. No, it was around here somewhere. Ah, it's here, look. There we got all my turf marked out. Need to make some man-made turf for here, like some wood or some shit. Because, I mean, it looks nicer and stuff. Okay. Fire pit. Why can't I build it in the middle? Is it... Is it because of the pickaxe and stuff? Yeah, that, that was why. And we'll stick that right there. Sweet! Then we'll actually start cooking some shit. Mm -mm. I actually don't like carrots. Okay, now it's, it's suddenly come to my attention that I'm at a loss of food. I do not own any food. Shit. Well, on the plus side, I can make another chest. Chests are always good. We'll, we'll stick that somewhere. Like there, maybe? I don't fucking know. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, what can go in this chest? Nobody knows. Like rocks. And... Rocks and nuggets and flint. And grass and logs. And boards. Yeah, I guess I guess that'll do. Tools can just sort of stay on the floor for the minute. Is there any point actually having chests? Because you can just leave shit all over the floor. So why don't you just leave shit all over the floor? Surely that would make more sense. I don't I don't really know I don't really know how it works. The science machine, will you stop? Will you stop doing things? Okay, so we've managed to survive five days, and I've made absolutely fuck all progress. Oh, apart from my badass beard that I've grown, check that out. Oh, I'm such a badass. But yeah, normal people at this point, they'd have like walls around all the base, and loads of machines, and all sorts of shit, and like constant steady food supply. But I've not played this for a long time, so it's going to take me a while to get back into it. I'm probably going to die very soon on this run, and then I will start again, and then I'll probably die very soon on that one. Well then eventually we'll get back into it and I will have a half decent run that will make it to winter and then that'll probably be about it. I'll never get any further than that ever in my life. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, please hit the like button. It really helps out a lot. And if you have anything to say, anything you want to ask, then feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you'd like to see more, then feel free to subscribe and I will see you next time.